2016 task force has discovered that grocery store prices just are different in the city and in the suburban stores. Well, now state lawmakers say it appears stop and shop is price gouging customers. So let's get right to NBC 10's Lauren Melendez, who's here. So explain this all to us, Lauren. So this is a big deal. It was actually a group of young sleuths, like a teen high, uh, task force in Hyde Park that really uncovered this. I'm really impressed that they dug up these numbers because they are the ones that are finding some inequities in grocery stores across the area. So I want to talk about this. It's a big deal. They're getting to the bottom of it. They're also getting some backup, too, and some significant backup. Again, youth organizers with the Hyde, uh, Hyde Park uh, Square Task Force in Jamaica Plain calling attention to, the, attention to this. And again, that backup is coming from people like Senator Elizabeth Warren, Massachusetts congressional delegation. They sent a four-page letter to Stop and Shop leaders really demanding a lot of answers. Again, Warren was one of them. She was among the several contributors who said Stop and Shop could be, quote, engaging in corporate profiteering schemes that squeeze residents and families in Massachusetts. Now, she pressed for details on what factors impact pricing differences and what steps, if any, the company has taken to make groceries more affordable. The Globe highlighted the task force's research, but they also visited several stop and shop locations, guys, to confirm these numbers. And a majority of what price discrepancies were shown happened in Jamaica Plain, Dedham, Hingham, and Grove Hall stores. So in several cases, JP food items were a dollar or more than their Dedham counterpart. For example, Hatfield Thick Cut Hickory Bacon, $12.79. Dedham, $11.99. Brigham's Ice Cream and JP, $5.99, a dollar less in Dedham. Those are just two examples. There were lots. Actually, according to The Globe, too, a Stop and Shop spokesperson said that, look, their pricing at all their areas should be uniform, but they didn't address why they were different. And I want you to keep this in mind. The J uh, Jamaica Plain and Grove Hall stores, their neighborhoods have a typical household income of up to $41,000. In Hingham, those neighborhoods have a median household income of $211,000. Guys, that is more than five times what you saw in those less uh, uh, lower areas. So I want to address this, too. Price gouging bans, they are already in effect for 37 states in Massachusetts, but they also have a deadline to address this. I think it's October 17th that these leaders of Stop and Shop have to answer to all of this. So I'll be following this for you very closely in the studio. I'm Lauren Melendez. Very interesting. Thank you, Lauren.